morning, y'all. So, I had a really vivid, um, like, flashback nightmare last night. Um, woke up with my chest feeling tight and just, like, breathing heavy, um, that really fucked up my sleep, so I'm waking up pretty late this morning, it's Friday, um, but, you know, there's still, there's shit to get done today, so, I can, yeah, I can still make it a good day, that's what you gotta do anytime something like this happens, just remind yourself that all is not lost, so, let's get after it. been reading, um, I've done my 10 pages for the day. I keep going in and out of flashbacks today. Gonna try and power through it, but, uh, this sucks. We're going today. I have done some copywriting and been productive in that arena. Uh, gonna do some housework and um lift weights in the home gym and then practice for the rest of the all day. right so i'm making dinner some chicken breast gonna bake the rest of these to uh use for meal prep and i was holding this um and using it to hold one of the chicken breasts so i could cut it while it's in the pan so it cooks through faster because I'm impatient <laughs> and uh, noticed kind of some pain in my wrist. So definitely taking that as a cue that I've been pushing it pretty damn hard this week, the last few weeks actually with my amount of daily drumming and all the exercises. So today um, I still need to learn the last two songs for the In Your Grave tour set list. So I'm going to do that after I eat here, and that'll be the rest of my evening before I go to bed. But I am not going to do any of my like regular daily hand exercises to give my, my tendons and muscles a bit of a break, rest, let them heal. Um, a lot of people forget the importance of rest in improving at almost anything, whether it's you know lifting weights or playing an instrument, like these things that use our bodies, like our bodies need time to recuperate and that's where they actually make the adaptations to become, you know, stronger, faster, more durable, whatever. So push yourself hard, but also remember to get adequate rest. And sometimes if your body's kind of screaming at you, like mine just did, you know, pull back a little bit, take a break from that activity for a day or two and then get back to it and you should be fine. Boys and girls, really quick, want to talk to y'all about a method of learning songs on drums that I generally find to be the most effective, and I have not been so good at applying lately until tonight I decided, okay, I'm going to do it this way, um, which is basically that you only listen to the song, like actively listen, no distractions, without attempting to play any of the parts, like three times in a row, three times in a row just listening, and then you start listening to it again and you start air drumming the parts. I don't know how well this would work for guitarists. Maybe it would, I don't know, um, and other instruments, but I know it works pretty damn well for drums because anytime I use this method, I tend to learn the song a lot more quickly and more accurately than otherwise. So I should apply, uh, I should apply this learning method more, but I digress. So that way um, you are already beginning to, you know, airplay the parts without um, having any, or sorry, you're beginning to learn to play the parts, um, already having a pretty firm grasp of the structure and flow of the song. So in your head, you can kind of already hear and know the parts that come next, because being able to hear it back in your head is half the battle. <laughs> and then while you're, you're, you're air drumming it, not playing it on the actual drums yet, because Anytime you play something in the air and with your feet just tapping on the floor, that doesn't align with what's playing from whatever speaker you're using. You can hear 
that much more easily than if you were already playing over it with the actual loud drums. So then you immediately pause, go back a few seconds, listen to it again and be like, okay, that's what that part is actually is. Go through that part, air drumming still, and then continue. And you keep doing that until you've made it through the whole song, you know, kind of just in chunks, right? With any trouble spots. But the funny thing is, you know, depending on the complexity of the song, you won't have nearly as many trouble spots where you have to listen multiple times and kind of figure out and decipher what's being played. If you've already actively listened to that song a minimum of three times in a row without having tried to play along to it. Crazy, right? So I've just done that with the second to last song on the In Your Grave tour set list. Uh, now I'm going to go play it on my actual drum kit and see how much more quickly I'm actually able to play it than like the previous six songs on the set list that I've learned not this way because I'm stubborn. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So here is me running through the second to last song from the set list for tour that I learned. Um, some good stuff in here definitely was a little rough, obviously, because I just barely learned the song and still kind of etching some of the parts in my muscle memory. But, uh, Honestly, I'll just let you guys watch pretty much this whole take unedited. this for the vlog but I went and bought myself a planner and a budget planner because I need help in those regards all right so as you guys can tell Friday was not the most ideal day for me in terms of checklist or productivity but the important thing is that I still did what I could I powered through all the fight or flight feelings I was having from those PTSD flashbacks earlier in the day and eventually start feeling better later. So just a reminder that even if the day starts out like shit, you can still make it a good day and get at least some stuff done on 
that's better than giving up on it and not getting anything done. So remember that. And also just a little funny story, right before I filmed this little driving clip, I totally got pulled over because my tail light, my brake light was out. And uh, the cop breathalyzed me for an open bottle of tequila that I'd forgotten about in my back seat, but I had not been drinking, so I'd lose your and let me off scot free. But that was just kind of funny. I'd gone to grab a snack, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon with uh, Monday's vlog with a little bit of Saturday and Sunday footage, but I mostly took a break from vlogging for most of the weekend. So, peace.